Hello everyone, my name is Gandhi14 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install custom maps onto your Minecraft game for your enjoyment and pleasure. And uh, a lot of people think it's pretty complicated to do, but it's actually pretty simple. It doesn't take too long, uh, except for the download time, depending on your internet speed. And uh, as long as you know what operating system you're using for your computer, it should uh, be pretty simple. Now I'm running on Windows 7. But unfortunately, I don't know how to do it through Windows XP or Vista. So if you're running on XP or Vista, unfortunately, I can't help you. But you could try maybe figuring it out. Like, just following these same things, because I'm sure they're pretty similar. But a couple things are different, like how you get to search your program files and stuff. <coughs> but it shouldn't be too difficult. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to know what kind of thing you're going to want to download. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find, to see if I actually favorited it. I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna go to Google real quick. We're gonna type in Wizard Bergman download custom map. There we go. And uh, here we go. Go to Minecraft forums. You can always trust the Minecraft forums and stuff. And uh, all the links are really safe. Like Mediafire is a safe link place and everything. I've downloaded a lot of stuff through Mediafire. Perfectly safe. Now it says uh, click here to start the download from Mediafire. I already have the download, so I'm not gonna be doing it again. So basically, you would click that, and then if you're on Windows 7, a uh, loading screen would pop up right here for that file. And you would go to your downloads, and you would scroll down, and you would find, uh, where is it? W. Wizard Bergman. There we go. So it's not that difficult at all, so we're going to close these. Close that. Alright, and now we're back. Now, I'll go up to the download video um, folder, open this up, and here it is, World 4. Uh... What you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to go down to your start, and you're going to put in that, and app, data, and then put in one more percentage sign. And you should get a folder called roaming. Uh, I've tried looking for it without that, and can't find it for some reason, but basically just do that. Click roaming. If you notice, dot Minecraft is at the very top. You're going to want to double click that, or open it. You're going to have bin, resources, save, screenshots, and stuff, so all kinds of screenshots I've taken before stats and stuff texture packs this is where you would probably install the texture packs too didn't want to do that yep all right so that's where your, all your saves are you click saves and here are all my worlds uh if you notice like i renamed it to hard world and stuff and because that's what i first named it when i created that one and all the it's other worlds are like my other custom maps and on such so basically to make this work what you do is you go open this folder and you're going to want to, let's see, um, I don't know, how should I do this exactly? Hold on a second. I'm going to rename this one to World 4 um, Perman because when I drag this in here, I don't want to get the two files mixed up. So basically, you drag World 4 over here, and it's going to copy all the items over to there. Now, since there are two World 4s, that won't work. You can't have two files with the same name. Basically, um, I gotta rename this one since that one was World Four, and I don't want to get them all mixed up. I'm gonna rename this one to World One, and now I'm gonna rename this one to World uh, Four, and there we go. We just installed a map into Minecraft. It's not that difficult. The only thing you gotta know for sure is it's always gotta start with the world, the name, oh, the word World with a capital W, and then the number it's on and stuff. It'll rename it to like Hard World or something like that through the game by itself. So you can't do that. Otherwise it won't work. So basically don't have the same file names and everything in here otherwise you'll get them mixed up and probably uh, get really confused and even frustrated. Just do what I did and just bring it in there. Name it to World 1 and so you saw I just put it in there. Let's log into Minecraft real quick and single player and then World 1 should be right um, where is World 1? It's weird. Oh, here it is. See his name, World 1, right there. And then open it up. And here we are, we're in Wizard Bergman. Fresh new game. All started and such, and piece of cake. That was pretty easy to do install. As long as you know where the download link is and how to get to the .minecraft folder in your saves. Uh, piece of cake. Runs perfectly fine, there's no lag and stuff, and there's no viruses or anything. Any links that I give you will be perfectly safe. I would never do that to any viewers. Give them virus links or anything like that. I'm not a pathetic person who does that. So, 
Anyways, piece of cake to install. Doesn't take that long. Probably about five minutes at the longest and stuff. And that's how you do custom maps and keep yourself fresh on Minecraft if you're getting really bored of uh, being creative stuff. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. Leave a comment um, telling me if this helped you all out. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more custom map videos and follow me on Twitters and stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.